Before I do so, I'm going to just go off script for a moment, though, and just say that one of the great things about this award is not only the recipient that gets recognized each and every year, but uh, we get a a lot of the members of our ELAP team here together, both at the committee level and the staff level here to just highlight um, how important conservation is in Hillsborough County. And, um, you know, looking back at the great Jan Platt, she was really on the cutting edge to think about conservation uh, in such a um, rapidly uh, urbanizing county like Hillsborough County. And we're unique in the sense that we have such a strong uh, conservation uh, program here with uh, with well over 60,000 acres preserved if I, if I have the number right uh, but uh, with that being said uh, again madam chair I do thank you uh, good morning to everybody uh, in January 2017 the Board of County Commissioners unanimously approved the creation of the Theodore Roosevelt Hillsboro Forever Conservation Award to honor an individual or group dedicated to preserving the county's natural resources. The award is named in honor of the 26th President of the United States. Known as the nation's first conservationist president, Theodore Roosevelt placed more than 200 million acres under public protection and doubled the number of sites in the national park system. It is in this spirit of conservation of our most precious environmental resources that we present this award today. First, I wanna thank members of the Jan K. Platt Environmental Lands Acquisition and Protection Program Committees who reviewed the nominations and recommended the recipient. I believe we have a couple of members with us today and I'd like to recognize them. Uh, they are Jan Smith, the chair of the ELAP General Committee, Sally Thompson, Vice Chair of the ELAP General Committee. I'd like to ask you to both stand. Do we have any other committee members here that I've missed? Okay, I'd like to ask both of you to stand and be recognized. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. And I'll go off script again and just tell the public that these are volunteer positions. Uh, these fine ladies have given so much in terms of their time and efforts um, for, this, for this great uh, environmental lands program. Again, I do thank you for your service and thank you to the other committee members as well. Uh, the work you do to protect the pristine areas of our county is helping us secure environmental gems that will endure for generations. I'd also like to recognize Cheryl Bowman, who nominated the winner of this year's award. Ms. Bowman, please stand. Thank you. Let's give her a round of applause as well. Thank you. Ms. Bowman worked for Hillsborough County for more than 30 years and retired just this past June. Uh, she was on the original resource management team that reached out to the recipient and started applying prescribed fire to lands acquired through the ELAP program. And thank you for your service. I appreciate that. So at this time, I'm proud to announce that the recipient of the 2022 Theodore Roosevelt Hillsborough Forever Conservation Award is Michael Perry. And Mr. Perry, I'd like to ask you to join me at the podium at this time. Good morning to you and welcome. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, yes sir. <clears throat> a Florida native, Michael Perry has served on the front lines numerous times uh, for the nation, state of Florida, and Hillsborough County. As a member of the Army's 101st Airborne Division in the 1960s, he fought in Vietnam and was wounded twice. He received several decorations, including the National Defense Service Medal, the Purple Heart, and the Distinguished Service Cross. Mr. Perry, on behalf of the entire board, I would like to thank you for your service. From 1970 until 2003, Mr. Perry enjoyed an exceptional career on another front line, this one with the Florida Forest Service. He began his service as a towerman dispatcher at the Valrico Tower facility and attended ranger school in 1972. He achieved promotion to forest area supervisor and was in charge of tower crews and lookouts, including ha Hamner Tower, now a Hillsborough County Park and historic landmark. Utilizing his experience, immense knowledge and expertise, Mr. Perry was integral in developing Hillsborough County's prescribed fire program. 
The firefighters, land managers, and other experts who conduct prescribed burns, also, con also called controlled fires, are unsung heroes. Mr. Perry is synonymous with this essential practice in Hillsborough County. Prescribed fire is a land management tool used to restore and maintain fire dependent ecosystems, enhance forest health, improve wildlife habitat, and reduce the chances of dangerous uncontrolled wildfire by decreasing hazardous fuels. Fire promotes healthy ecosystems by clearing out competing vegetation, cycling nutrients into the soil, stimulating growth and seed production of fire dependent plants, and providing food for wildlife. Mr. Perry formalized the training of new prescribed fire managers by establishing the Interagency Prescribed Fire Training Academy at Upper Tampa Bay Park, where he trained staff and land managers in the early 1990s. He was an expert resource for the history of various sites, including past fires and known hazards. For example, Bomboyette Bomb Scrub Preserve and Upper Tampa Bay Park were not under fire management prior to county acquisition, and both had a strong wildfire history. Under Mr. Perry's guidance, county staff learned how to apply prescribed fires to these sites, including installing fire lanes. Mr. Perry led an estimated 200 prescribed burns and helped contain 200 to 300 wildfires in the region, which presented various challenges that included muck fires in drinking water well fields. Further, Mr. Perry was a passionate educator about these crucial and often misunderstood conservation efforts, routinely meeting with residents to promote and explain the benefits of prescribed fire and leading wildland fire training for volunteer fire departments. Mr. Perry's extraordinary skill set can be best described this way. He was as equally comfortable fighting wildfires as he was leading prescribed burns. This is an ability possessed by few people in these fields. In addition, he was generous with his time. Whether on the clock or off, he was always available for service. It was much more than a job, it was a calling. Mr. Perry retired from the Forest Service in 2003, but his advocacy for prescribed burns and his work in the field continue. He and his wife founded a private environmental lands management services company dedicated to protecting and preserving our natural resources. The company operated for 16 years, pr providing prescribed fire services at Lettuce Lake, Lithia Springs, Alderman's Ford, and other county sites. Uh, Mr. Perry, I think we can all agree that because of your dedication, there is no telling how many wildfires you help to prevent. The countless prescribed burn signatures in the woods throughout Hillsborough uh, represent your legacy, and many of these areas currently support endangered and threatened animal and plant species thanks to your tireless efforts. As a result, Hillsborough County residents enjoy increased security in their homes and businesses and enhanced natural resources, and the county was able to develop an active and effective land management program. Your service, dedication, and persistence embodies the spirit of the Theodore Roosevelt Hillsboro Forever Conservation Award. As part of this award, we have a picture of Cypress Creek Nature Preserve for you. We'll uh, present that in just a moment when we do a, a photograph. Uh, a recent wildfire in this area uh, was easily extinguished thanks to a prescribed fire conducted less than a year ago. Mr. Perry was instrumental in bringing prescribed fire to this preserve. Uh, in addition, a nice plaque is being made uh, because of the supply chain issues that we're experiencing. We didn't have that ready for you today, but that will be um, uh, delivered to you. And you will be awarded uh, $2,000 to choose an enhancement project at a Hillsborough County nature area of your choice. And I'm gonna go off script for just a moment and once again thank the, the great, uh, the late and great uh, Gus Munich for his generous uh, charitable contribution to the county that's made that $2,000 award possible each and every year for our citizens. And also your name will be 
uh, the sixth added to a perpetual plaque that hangs in County Center. I don't know whether or not we have his name on there yet, but just as soon as it's on there, I'd like for you to come by County Center and, and take a look at that. So thank you uh, for all of your amazing work. And without further ado, uh, Mr. Perry, I'm going to give you the podium and ask you to, to make a few remarks. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, thank you so much to everybody that I've worked with throughout my career. He took the words right out of my mouth, what I thought I was going to say to, up here this morning. But I, I tried to, throughout my career, make sure that I demonstrated that I was concerned about the environment and I wanted to do what was right. I tried to do the best I could to help train and educate the folks that was in my sphere of influence to uh, learn to do the job right. And like he said, when, when you do good quality prescribed burning, and I think that's what the county is doing de today because I don't see any evidence of a lot of wildfires in Hillsborough County anymore. Boy, it used to run us ragged when I was with the Forestry Service. But the team that we put together, and I can include all the ELAP folks and all the different preserves in the parks as part of the team that we worked on, we went to these places that hadn't had fire in them for many, many years, and uh, we began to do a program to reduce this fuel and roughage so that it could be managed and you wouldn't have these threats of serious wildfires threatening the community, the roads, the homes, et cetera, et cetera. So it's humbling to be up here today receiving this award, but I appreciate it, and uh, I thank everybody on the commission for given me this opportunity, and uh, especially my friends from ELAB. My family was a big supporter of me throughout my career. Believe me, it was, it was a uh, <clears throat> constant job. But you know what they say about jobs. If you like what you do, it's not a job. You go do it, and you enjoy it. You don't care what the hours are. You just do what you need to do. And I tried to do that. I worked with them to do it, and I think we were successful in our mission to, to set this stuff up and demonstrate what we can do with control burning in Hillsborough County as well as the rest of the state. Thank you so much, everybody. Well, thank you. Uh, Mr. Perry's service has made a lasting impact on our community, and we are so proud uh, to honor him today. He truly exemplifies dedication to preserving the county's natural resources.